We back with another video. What's going on, y'all? I hope y'all having a great day. Today, I'm going to be showing y'all the easiest way to make hi-hat rolls in FL Studio for beginners. You know, if you're not real good at doing it or or if you're just lazy with it or something like that, I have another way that you guys can make hi-hat rolls real simple uh, using, like, pre-made presets. So, I'm going to go ahead and get straight into it. I got this melody drawn up. Play it for you real quick so you can see what it sounds like. Then we're going to get straight into it. So just a real quick melody, just for demonstration purposes, right? So I like I like this hi hat. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you a real easy way. You know, just one one way of many. It's not it's not a you know the holy grail or the end all be all or anything like that. It's just an easy way to do it, right? So one out of many, of course. So right here, we're going to go ahead and do fill each step two times, right? Basic stuff, if you don't know that, you know, right-click, fill each two steps. So now you just got the regular two-step hi-hat pattern, right? Next, go ahead and go back to the piano roll. We're going to go up here, drop down, stamp, percussions. So right where we have the fill these two steps, we have these down here, flam fast, flam medium, flam slow, roll fast, roll slow, roll dynamic, right? So let's just do flam medium. Let's just, you know, and it'll stamp it right here. So let's maybe go right here, right? See what it sounds like. And you can move it anywhere, right? So. Think you can shorten it so you can place that wherever right and that gives like a short roll with the long one so like it's kind of like a stutter it's kind of like a stutter hi-hat if you know anything about 808 mafia or you know south side he does those all the time right so that's one easy way to kind of do that then we're just gonna keep going back uh roll fast dynamic right let's stamp this maybe right here and once you put these down you can move them anywhere you know and look how it already has the velocity going from down to up and how easy is that and then you if you want to you can just copy and paste this right Go back to it. Stamp. Roll slow relative. Let's see what that one does. Maybe right here. So it's like a little stutter. Maybe put one at the beginning. Slam fast. Let's see. So you just wanna you just wanna experiment and see, you know, see where it sounds best at, you know, for you and the beat that you're making. You know? I don't have a lot of drums on this beat, so it's kinda hard to really say what sounds the best as far as, you know, from now, but just kinda wanna experiment and, and see what works for you. Let's go back, stamp. Roll slow dynamic. So it's just two steps. 
But it also has the velocity going from down to up. See what else we got? Slam slow. Go lower after. Let's go roll medium relative. And I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. So, you know, if, if the hi hats get a little crazy, you know, that's why. Because I'm trying to show you guys all the different ones that you can incorporate into your beats, right? So, and this, this is a little different one. Uh, this is roll. Which one was this one? This was roll medium relative, right? So, and this has four, you know, four hats. So... Take it and place it anywhere. Mess with the velocity yourself. So you guys can see, you can see how easy that was with, without me having to draw in one hi hat roll. Didn't have to draw in not one hi hat roll. Just using the presets that's already built in uh, for us to use, thanks to FL, whoever made the presets, right? So this is one of the easiest ways to do it if you, you know, if you're having a lazy day or you don't want to draw them in. Um, they're not too hard to make in the first place, but I know we're always trying to find ways to be more creative and find ways to improve our workflow, um, switch it up, do something different so we can get a different sound. So that's another reason uh, for you guys to try this way out. And then, you know, if you want to add drums just to this, just to see kind of what it would all start to sound like, right? I could do that real quick. Add a little reverb to the hat. Fruity reverb. Here we go.
So as you can see, made a quick little starter beat just like that. Hi hats rocking all off the presets, man. So I'm gonna wrap it up. Don't want to keep y'all too long, man. Just wanted to show y'all a quick way to make the hi hat rolls NFL with presets. A uh, different way you might not be used to using. So hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Hope y'all can take that with y'all and use it in your arsenal, you know, add it to your arsenal and everything and and uh you know incorporate it into your beat making process. So that's all I got for y'all today, man. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Got new content coming every day. I will see y'all in the next video, man. Until next time, signing out.